Well, cash only is a VIP club with a very strict policy, we're told. No cell phones and no coats. Tonight, we found out it all started when the suspect re refused to remove his coat. And this is usually a nice high class place here, you know, like a lot of rich people. And then next thing you know, chaos ensued. Police are all over the place, blocking all the street off over here. Garnett Ellswood, who was driving for DoorDash at the time, watched as police converged on Prime and Proper Steakhouse in downtown Detroit just after midnight Saturday, only to learn a violent scuffle that took place at the VIP club Cash Only, located in the basement of the building, led to the 911 call. The policy at the club, no cell phones and no coats. And you don't even know where it is. It, you don't have any access to it. Fluke things happen. A source close to the investigation tells Fox 2 the 52-year-old suspect became hostile when security guards asked him to remove his jacket multiple times. He refused, and when security tried to escort him out, the suspect grabbed his folding-style knife and began violently stabbing the 51-year-old security guard. Another guard reached for his concealed weapon, commanded the suspect to stop and drop the knife, and then fired his weapon, shooting the suspect dead. I was kind of shocked. I was a little sad that something like that would happen in such a nice establishment. But it didn't stop you from coming here? No, no, of course not. Uh, it can happen anywhere, but I want to support a local business. So we've been through too much in the city of Detroit, and why not? A spokesperson for Heirloom Hospitality Group, which owns Prime and Proper, issued a follow-up statement Monday, which reads... Investigators have confirmed to us that they have all the information, victim statements, witness statements, surveillance footage from multiple cameras and more as it relates to both the attacked, the contracted security officer and the deceased who was the aggressor. Police have turned that information over to the prosecutor's office for review and there is no question as to who fired the weapon in self-defense. Of course, the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office will make the final decision on whether it is, in, in fact, self-defense. There were no other injuries. Huel. So, Taryn, how is the security guard who was stabbed? Well, a police source tells Fox 2 he does have life-threatening injuries. He underwent a five-hour surgery today. It sounds as if things are still touch and go at this moment. All right, more on the story later, Taryn. We're hoping you. for the best, yes. Absolutely.